Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be reviewing a motherboard replacement on a Dell Latitude 5440. Please stay tuned to this channel. We are adding new videos regularly and I uh, would appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. Moving right in, we're going to uh, get the bottom cover removed here. First things first, always disconnect your battery from the motherboard. You can remove a few screws or loosen them and remove the battery. Remove the bracket holding down your Wi-Fi card. This particular Wi-Fi card has two antenna cables, one going to the left side of your chassis and one going to the top black one that you can see there. So one of them's got to be removed or disconnected. I'll try to keep the white one intact and uh, usually you have a little bit of adhesive underneath so you got to pry that up before removing it. I just grab the wire and pull it out of the way. Try to keep the connection intact there, it'll save you time later. Removing two screws to remove your SSD hard drive. Disconnect your speakers from the motherboard. Pull that cable out of the way. We're going to remove all the screws holding in the inner frame. All of these screws should be the same size. Remember to keep your screws organized on the table around your laptop so that you remember where they are to be returned on the motherboard. Disconnect the ribbon cable from your touchpad and disconnect your fan from the motherboard. Remove your memory dims. Loosen all four screws holding your heat sink in place. Remove the two screws from the fan. Remove your fan. Sometimes you have to use a little pry tool to break the heatsink free. Sometimes the thermal grease is holding that in place. You can tell by looking at this thermal grease that it's pretty caked on there. Sometimes you'll run into that and it's not enough just to wipe it with an alcoholic wipe. You have to really chisel at it with the screwdriver or a pry tool. I, as you can see I'm using so I don't scratch up the copper plating too much, I use that alcoholic wipe to really chisel away and remove the old thermal grease. Now we're going to remove all the screws, the anchor screws that are holding in your motherboard. Sorry my arm is in the way here from the camera, but right now we're removing the two screws from the video display or EDP cable bracket. Once that bracket comes off, then you can pull up on that video connector to disconnect it. We've got a few screws along the right side of the motherboard here. A lot, a lot of times these uh, little brackets will come off the motherboard. I had to look at the new motherboard to see that not oh, the new one has the same bracket, so I'm not going to try to pry that off. 
If it does come off, they usually come off easily. Got one more screw in the top right there. As I'm attempting to remove the motherboard, I'm realizing that I forgot a couple screws up top. So there's one more underneath that video cable. Once we get that screw out, the whole motherboard comes up. We insert the new motherboard, oftentimes those C ports or USB ports on the right side need to be inserted first. Uh, they'll kind of fit into the holes that are on the right side of your palm rest chassis. Then I carefully remove any cables or wires that might be obstructing the motherboard as I put it in place. And I'm going to just go in reverse order and re-add my anchor screws to the motherboard. Reconnect your video display cable. Reapply the video connector bracket and two screws. We're going to apply some new thermal grease. Careful not to apply too much, you don't need a whole lot. Once you apply the heat sink, it'll evenly spread it across the processor. Retighten your heat sink screws. These are often labeled in order that you tighten them, one through four in this case. Reinstall the fan and the two screws. Reconnect your fan to the motherboard. Reconnect your touchpad ribbon cable to the motherboard. Install your memory dims. Reinstall the inner frame. We're going to put the Wi-Fi card back in place. We're going to do some cable management, carefully putting the antenna back into its track. As you can see there, my white antenna connector came disconnected. Sometimes that happens. That happens, just uh, carefully hold it in place. Apply light pressure down to reconnect it with, uh, I use my little screwdriver tool. Oftentimes, uh, technicians will have a hard time reconnecting these. You gotta be really careful. If they're not aligned right, uh, sometimes they get frustrated and they start to push down too hard and it'll bend the connectors, uh, thus damaging the antenna cables or the uh, Wi-Fi card itself, so. Be patient with that process. You get better in time with those. If you need to, you can use a tweezer, needle nose pliers to help you hold the antenna in place. Reinstall your SSD hard drive.
reinstall your speaker cable to the motherboard. These connectors oftentimes have a little black dot on the top so you know which side is facing up. Reinstall your battery. Tighten the screws and reconnect the battery. Reconnect your battery. Don't forget to double check all your connections before applying the bottom cover. Thank you all for watching today. Apply your bottom cover carefully, reapply those screws, don't over tighten them. We are adding new videos every day. Please like and subscribe to get uh, real-time updates on new videos that we add. Thank you so much.